people don't like when you demonize carbs and sugar. They like it. It's tasty. They want to eat them. I totally understand that. And they even bring up good points like, well, maybe you should improve your insulin sensitivity. Like in this case, no, improve your insulin sensitivity. Stop demonizing carbohydrates. Okay, but here's the thing. The dose makes the poison. The dose makes the poison. If I exercised every second of my life, I would die very quickly. If I drank water every second of my life, I would literally dehydrate because I would rob my body of minerals and electrolytes and I would kill myself. I would also probably just like overload the kidneys and things like that, right? So if you are already, what is this? If you are already poor in insulin sensitivity, if you're insulin resistant, then the single most important thing you can do is control your carb intake, right? If you're overloaded with fructose in your liver, and you're basically borderline fatty liver from a combination of alcohol and processed foods and eating just way too much sugar, drinking Coke, etc. then in that case, fruit is digging you an early grave. You're just adding more fructose to your body when it's already overloaded, right? They say the straw that breaks camel's back because once you have enough weight, one little feather, one little straw, one little piece of grass is what tips it over the scale. The dose makes the poison. And it's very hard for people to understand this. It's, I mean, it's hard for humans to think critically at all and to, to hold conflicting ideas in their mind. They want it very simple. They want it black or white. They want all or nothing, good or bad. Don't eat that, eat that, that's good. Carbs are not the problem, this is the problem, whatever. But carbs can be the problem. Sugar can be the problem. It really depends on what else is going on. It depends on the dose as well.